welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick little swatch party video on some e.l.f. palettes that I've been holding on to for a while. Of course, if you guys are OG YouTube watches, you'll know these are the Mad for Matte palettes. So I want to go ahead and jump into swatches, but really quick, I do want to announce a few things for you guys. I am doing a huge declutter sale on my Poshmark. So I'm going to pop a picture of my Poshmark account if you guys are interested in some gently used makeup. Go ahead and follow me on Poshmark so you can purchase from my... So without further blabbering, let's get into some swatches. Of course you guys know I like zoomed you in really close. So I'm actually going to swatch the Jewel one first because this is the newest one and I'm sure most of you want to see swatches of this one. After that I will do some of the other matte for matte palettes that I have just in case you guys haven't seen swatches of them on skin tone like mine. So here are the first five shades. These are super promising looking. I'm going to try and do some blending here with my fingers. Um, I'm trying to switch up how I do swatches just so you guys can have a better idea of what the shade selection is. So here are the finger swatches and then I just try to blend it a little bit so you guys had an idea of what the color payoff might be. Um, and honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I don't really like the other two matte palettes I have, to be honest. The Smokes one is just not really my favorite color palette. And then the Matte for Matte 2, everyone really loved too and I don't feel like they are as pigmented as this, but this is my first time swatching this palette, so we'll see what my decision is after I've actually worn this palette, because obviously we don't want to count our chickens before they hatch. So here are the other shades, and let me go ahead and blend them here so you guys have an idea again of what the color payoff is. Ooh, this is very pretty. Look at that. So there are the purples and then the green and the black. Pretty pigmented, I think, for e.l.f. Like, I'm actually really, really impressed with how those swatch on my arm. So I hope it'll mean good things for when I try this in my eyeballs. I think it's a very fun and affordable palette. These do retail for $10. I believe it should still be available on the e.l.f. website. I haven't checked but if if i do see that it's available i'll go ahead and try to remember to link it down below for you guys i mean is linking eyeshadow palettes really helpful because like honestly like i don't really make any money doing that so i i don't really link them because i don't really have time but if that's something you guys want me to do let me know so next let's swatch the holy smokes one this is the one that came out before the Jewel palette. So again, this was like a panic buy. I was like, oh my God, let me buy it so that I can compare it. And I never did, because honestly, like I never find the time to do all the reviews that I want to do. So here are the finger swatches. This is definitely like a cool tone lover's dream. Yeah, this is not as good as the other one. I don't even think you guys are going to be able to see these colors. Like, what an ashy hot mess. It looks like I picked out from, like, a fireplace and called them eyeshadows. So, that's pretty gross. Let me swatch the last five so you guys can see what the darker shades look like. Wow, I'm so excited for the Jewel Tone one now. So, this one also has a black in it, which the other palette does, too. So that's kind of nice that they include a black shade, but this is like a bad dupe for the Viseart Dark Matte palette. So there are the swatches of the Holy Smokes palette. It is holy shitty. <laughs> I don't know. This is ugly. Get it off of me. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Swatch my last matte for matte palette on this arm. Okay, so this is the one that everyone like raved about. I don't have the first Mad for Matte palette. This is the second one and everyone says they love this and I was like, okay, if you guys say so because these colors are boring as shit for me. Like, again, it's just like a neutral hellhole that we like fell into, but they're not even like good neutrals. Like, 
I don't understand. I know makeup struggles really like this palette. And she's a person of color, so if she can make it work, I don't doubt that if you have the willpower, you can make it work. But you guys, I'm kind of like an eyeshadow like brat. Like, I want my eyeshadow palettes to be pigmented right away. Like, I don't have time to like build up eyeshadows, you know? Neither does she. I'm not saying she has more time than I do. I'm just saying like, I'm kind of shocked that she likes this palette. But, you know, different people have different preferences, so. There are the swatches. I mean, I get where they're going with this. It's like a purpley sunset beautiful look, but oh my god, compared to these ones, like, are you kidding me? They look so vibrant. I can't wait to play with this palette. Yeah, those are my quick swatches of all of the e.l.f. little Mad for Matte palettes. These are all matte palettes and they retail for $10. I've seen the first one and the second one at like Target and stuff, but I haven't found the newer releases, so you'll have to grab those off of Elf's website. I do know since it's the holidays, there are a lot of really great sales, so you might want to take a peek at that. Otherwise, if you want to win an all matte Tarte palette, I do have a giveaway going on, so go ahead and check out those videos and enter my giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and yeah, bye guys!